So I'm Jeannie, I am 38. Um, I live with my husband, um, Stephen, and I've got my nine-year-old son, Oliver, and our dog, George, as well. So, um, strangely, one Thursday night, my husband just came home from work, and as he was driving home from work, he said, I've just had a thought, should we sell our house? So I was kind of taken back by this, and he sort of just was like, should we just rent? Um, now, my perception of rented property um, around the area was very um, poor quality, no, not maintenance, no maintenance on it or anything. And so before I would agree to even think about putting the house on the market, I went on to Right Move and just Googled rented properties in Middleton and it came across Baytree Lane and that was it. It was just, um, I knew I could do it because it was a brand new house. Um, it was be nice and clean. There wouldn't be any maintenance issues or anything with it. So so it just kind of reassured me that I wouldn't have those constant fights on my hand. So we went round and looked at a few um, show homes um, around Greater Manchester from other developers um, just to try and see what new homes were like and also the ones that people can buy. Um, and we really liked the Stamford with the three storey and everything but for family living um, it just wasn't for us, we needed bigger space. Um, a very active nine-year-old um, and a big family at Christmas as well. A lot of the things that we do is based around Christmas, so we need the space. Um, so the four bedroom one was the option. We did love the Ellesmere um, and that was sort of high on my list, but the fourth bedroom I actually use as my office um, and use that for when I'm working from home as well. So that came in really useful. The moving process was really, really easy. Um, we paid a deposit at the beginning um, and it was all done through a letting agency. We, I phoned up and spoke to Simple Life as well because um, I wanted to try and get the four bedroom property um, but before we sold our house. So it was, will it still be available? Will it still not be? We sold our house and I just simply phoned up. Um, we paid everything, went through all the checks and everything. Um, it was great that we could bring our dogs with us as well. So we paid um, the deposit for those as well. And then it was straightforward. We, 14 days before, we signed some papers over the internet, so you didn't even have to print anything off or anything. And then we moved in 14 days later. Um, we went and got our keys. We got a brilliant inventory, so it showed us how everything worked, and it even had all the gas meter readings in, um, how to use the alarm, and all those bits as well that we needed. So the previous rental that we had was um, quite a few years ago before we bought our other home, and it was a flat that we actually had um, in another part of Manchester. And there's a huge amount of difference from what we had then to what we have now. And I think that's why I was a bit concerned about going back into rented property because we it was a brand new build that we moved into last time, um, but the appliances that they used was really low spec. Um, the oven wasn't very good. There was problems always with the washing machine. Um, it was even down to the point that it was electric heaters, which cost an absolute fortune. Um, but even though we're in the middle of November now, we've still not put the heating on um, because it's too warm um, which is absolutely brilliant and it just has such a different feel to the even the things in the bathroom the fact that the mirrors are on the wall just the attention to detail and showing that things haven't really been scrimped on at all it's all been done with attention to detail for your lights under your kitchen cupboards just all those little things that make it the place that you can actually call your home at the end of the day not a rented house <laughs>